Okay, we're good. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have to compare and contrast Mount Lasting Change Pyramid and the Trans Theoretical Change mm -hmm. Model. Okay. So um, I can talk about Trans Theoretical Model, I guess. So it basically, uh, how I took it was it was like taking actions and as a coach, like figuring out where the client is at in the stage. So there's pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. And I think as a coach, it's important to know which stage the client is at so that they can come up with um, like a goal according to where they are. And um, the Mount Lasting Change Period Pyramid, um, I think of it more as instead of setting a goal for yourself, kind of setting more of a lifestyle change and like changing a actual behavior because it goes over different, like, not necessarily stages, but like levels of like learning your strengths and values and then like finding support and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not a quick fix. It's more of perceptually like changing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And it kind of helps you, like with amount lasting change, it helps you develop like mindfulness and self self awareness. Yes, yeah, something says like finding your best self um, mm -hmm. during the whole change. Yeah. So there's this like, they actually have this thingy for amount lasting change. So it kind of builds like from like having a vision and then preparing for that and then rewarding yourself. Yeah. And it's like eventually it becomes like real you because it's permanent at that point, I guess is what they're saying. Also, a difference between the two is um, the trans theoretical model has a stage four relapse, but this one, um, one of the stages is relapse prevention. So I think it's focusing more on not relapsing at all. If yeah. Possible. Um, and I think both can be used for like fitness, health, um, and kind of all of those areas of change. Yeah. It, yeah, it could apply to a lot of things in life, probably. Um, what else? Yeah, pretty much just says you can um, go through each level and turn a vision into a realistic plan. Um, mm -hmm. By finding a support system and increasing self-confidence and actually becoming committed and then doing the process fully. Mm -hmm. And just from like previous assignments and stuff, I thought it was interesting that as a coach, you're just there to like support in what the client wants to do instead of telling them what to do. I noticed that that's something that they really stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and before I just thought that as a coach, you, you do kind of want to tell them what to do, but um, you're just there to support them through their decisions and goals. Yeah, they won't do something if they don't want to actually do it. Mm -hmm. But if they feel like they want to change, you're there to be like, hey, you can do it, <laughs> kind of thing. Definitely. 
Um, Mm. What else? Mm. Well, it looks like there's a lot more that goes into the mount lasting change than the trans theoretical model. Yeah, it's more of a lot of steps rather than stages, I guess. Because mm -hmm. there's like five steps to get to the next stage. Yeah, because it's like there's, what is it? There's vision level, like we just said, preparation, action, and results. And then ultimately comes your best self. And like within that, there's so much that you need to change on each level. Is what I'm seeing. Mm. It's a lot more hand holding than the trans theoretical model. Kind of. mm -hmm. Um, what else could we talk about? No, there's not a whole lot. Yeah. Well, I think um, like both models support self-efficiency. Like I think, I guess that's a similarity. Like they both encourage a client to like have their own motivation and be able to reach their own goals. And I guess that's a similarity between the both models. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like they're both very similar. It's just um, the pyramid is going over a bit more in detail things to help you prevent actually relapsing and making it more lifelong. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's more of like we talked about um, becoming your best self rather than like accomplishing a specific goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's mm -hmm. not just like accomplishing like one part of it, but I don't know, accomplishing like all of it, I guess, because we can have an ultimate goal, but then there are little goals that come before that, so I guess this model kind of represents the stages of that. The being your best self mm -hmm. during change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> covered <most of> it. <laughs> yeah. I think we just. Okay. You just end it and then it'll pop up. I think, yeah, it says um, you just copy the URL from this. And I named it application activity number one, but I'm pretty sure it's number two. Yeah, it's two. I think I she wanted us to name it like FW46AA number two. I just did number one, so I'll try to change that. Okay. All right. I don't. Okay. I don't know if only you need to turn it in, or if I need to also. 
I think we both copied the URL and just turned that in, like the same one. Okay. Will you, um, I guess, send like, send it to me on this chat thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right. Okay. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Class. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, you too. Okay. Bye. <laughs>